Hey there, in today's video, we are going to learn how we can change or edit the footer text in 2017 theme. The method will be exactly the same like my previous video with 2014 theme, but this one it just to be in another location. So we are going to use this PHP uh, dynamic code. Why do we need to do that? Because with the dynamic code, it doesn't matter what year today is, it will be changed automatically in your footer. So for example, today is 2016. So because this is dynamic code of the year, so it will display 20, uh, excuse me, 2016. But next year, when it's 2017, it will also be changed automatically to the year 2017. So it does not matter what year today is, it will be displayed automatically in your footer without you being uh, editing or looking for the code that you've just inserted and edited again as the year changes. Also, the href, the, this uh, home URL, it will display it automatically as well even if you change your domain name. So it is very important to have dynamic code. For example, if you move your WordPress website, uh, sometimes it shows error because you put um, static HTML code somewhere in your theme and this will cause a problem. Also, the block info or block title, it will be changed automatically. It does not matter how many times you change your block title. So let's get started. First, I'm going to use this demo block. So I'm going to refresh this page. And if I scroll down, as you can see now, I still have properly powered by WordPress. And we're going to log in to our cPanel tool. You can also log in with your FTP client, but I think logging in in cPanel is just the best because Valzilla does not support copy uh, file. So uh, we're going to log in to my cPanel. This is my cPanel and make sure that you are on the root of your uh, website. Mine is inside public, uh, public underscore HTML. If you install in add-on domain, then you should look where your uh, add-on domain folder located. So at the moment, I have it on my root. So I'm just going to go to wp-content and then go to themes. So here on my themes folder, I have many themes and the most important is the 2017, the parent theme and the child theme 2017. Uh, dash child. So before you follow along this video, please I recommend you to create child theme for this because it's very important and without creating child theme we cannot continue this video. So pause this video and let's continue later on. So say now you already created 2017 child so we go uh, here on this folder I mean we're going to copy this so select this folder and right click and rename. We're not going to rename this folder. We're just going to copy this path. So copy and then open your text editor and then paste it in here. Minimize this. So now we're just going to hit cancel because we do not want to rename it. We just want to uh, copy the path. And then we go to the parent theme, 2017 parent folder, double click it. And then we're going to copy this template dash parts. Select that and copy this and here exactly on the 2017 you can also put dash on and then add the wording but I think it's very the safest one is that delete all of this so make sure that you have all of this and then forward slash themes and then forward slash and then open your text editor again and copy all of this and then put it here paste it in here and then copy files now if we go up one level, we're going to go to our folder uh, of 2017 chart, double click this, and now as you can see we have template dash parts folder. We're going to open this, so double click it again, and we're going to select header and hold your command key if you are Mac on Mac. In Windows, uh, I don't know, I don't know uh, how you're going to select many, so hit your command key and then press it. And while you're pressing your command key, select this one. Or uh, the easiest is just select all. And then hit your command key in Mac or I think it's control in window. to something like this. So we basically want to delete all of the folders except of the footer 
uh, folder. So once we have these four folders are selected, we're going to click on delete and delete files. Now that we are on our uh, footer, I mean, now that we see our footer folder, we're going to double click this and select the footer dash widgets.php and delete that. So now that we have this site dash info.php where this text code is located, we're going to edit it. So select that and then we're going to go to the editor. So now that we are in here, I'm going to resize this text so that you can see better. So with this code, you can edit or you can just let it be like this. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this a ref. So um, I'm okay because my website is actually proudly powered by WordPress. So I'm just going to delete this a ref and then the closing a ref here. And then I'm going to hit save and go back to my blog again and refresh that and uh, scroll down and as you notice that the font now is changing it's a little bit darker than before because now we cannot click this because we just delete the H uh, ref so this is only text and not clickable to have your copyright or your website name you can go to uh, this code so I'm just going to copy this code and paste it inside this uh, this one so I'm just going to put the separator for example I would like to have this pipe separator and then um, hit space and paste paste that in here and as you can see now I have copyright and then the copyright icon and then the year what today has and then this href and our block name and then closing href now I'm going to save this and then uh, cop um, refresh my blog again. And now we scroll down as you can see now we have this uh, my blog name there, a link which shows my blog URL in the corner of my site and also the year what today, I mean which year today has and also copyright icon and the text copyright. Now say you want to delete the proudly powered by WordPress. So what you're going to do is uh, delete all of this because if you delete the proudly powered by WordPress, maybe you do not want to have the separator as well. I'm just going to delete all of this and then save changes and go back again, refresh that and so enough, now it's changed. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to put back the the code that I have because my site is proudly powered by WordPress I just do not want the, uh, to have the link so I'm just going to save this and probably I want to change the text for example like um, build with for example and then save changes and then now I'm going to refresh that and put it with WordPress and your copyright and the year and so forth. So this is what I mean. For example, now I'm going to log into my dashboard. And then once I'm logged in, I'm going to customize your site. I'm just going to click that button to be in my customizer. Now I'm going to change my site title, which is on the site identity and site title. For example, I'm going to change demo of, for example, and then I'm going to click on save and publish and then close my customizer and visit my site and scroll down and as you can see now this site, my site name is now changed. Now it has the demo of. So it's changed because we put the code manually so we do not have to go to footer text again, the code again and edit this because it will be changed dynamically accordingly when you change the info of your site or your domain or uh, the year so it's changed dynamically and I think it's the best solution for your child theme. So I hope this video will help you a little bit and if it does please share or like this video and thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye!